All right, everybody. Um, most of you know me, uh, Dr. Cash Lewis, but those of you that don't, um, I'm excited to have uh, Richie with us from Lone Star and Farmers Market. And, um, you know, Richie and I, we were just talking, we've been um, really working together with the market back when it was in Lakeway. And we said it was eight years ago. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, we've been roughly in business for about eight years, uh, a few different locations. Yeah, and uh, and we really reached out to Richie eight years ago, just being huge advocates of um, farm to market food, and um, just the, the the resources that they provide that is congruent with you know our business, and that's how that relation happened. And I will tell you, you know, I've I've known Richie for years. I I, I know his wife and his kids, and just a, an amazing family. And I've um, been honored to know you for so long, Richie. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, it, it, thank you very much for this opportunity. I just wanted to, you know, quickly share a little bit about um, kind of what we have going on in these trying times and so on. Um, you know, some people, you know, I get roughly about 30 calls uh, per, per weekend any given Sunday, uh, you know, wondering, you know, is the market still open? What do we offer and so on? So. Uh, when Dr. Cash um, asked me to uh, to jump on this and uh, expose you guys to some of this, uh, you know, I kind of pass it up. Um, but yeah, pretty much uh, market is still going strong. Uh, we have taken uh, many precautions, uh, you know, due to the uh, COVID-19 virus. Uh, but we are strong advocates um, of, you know, teaching the community where their food is actually coming from. And um, this has been an actual uh, great time for the, the community and the market to um, really bolster that a little bit more. And, um, you know, for example, at the market, you know, you, you might be walking down the aisles, you, you see other people and so on. And um, unfortunately, we just can't uh, get as close to one another as we used to. So, you know, we've kind of practiced that social distancing. You know, the market's naturally outside. Um, the actual growers and producers are there. Um, so, like, you know exactly where the, your food is coming from. And, you know, that that's a really critical element. And I feel that this has, uh, unfortunately, and unfortunately, brought in people to their roots and you know getting people out a little bit more asking the right questions and understanding uh, exactly where their products are coming from who's growing it and what their practices may be so yeah I, I, I totally agree it, it's really neat to see um, the, how the mindset has changed you know and that aspect from a positive standpoint is it's extremely important to know the source the way it's grown the way it's handled um, and Richie can you tell us though I mean because one of the amazing things about the market was the just the environment and the the spirit it brings and you know just getting to know the vendors and I know having some of the live music people picking guitars there and just walking around has always been amazing and obviously it's a different vibe right now but how has exactly the covid affected the market and then um the next question would be is um you know you you, you mentioned earlier when we we're talking privately some of the best practices you're doing and um what's the best way for people to practice social dis distancing and and kind of get in and out and things that you're seeing the vendors doing that is just the best way to approach this. Right, sure. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, I mean, the, the market used to be a terrific place. And, you know, once this lifts, uh, you know, it still will be a great place for the community to, to come and, and enjoy, you know, live music and face painting for the kids and so on. Um, but currently, you know, we've been asked that all the, uh, patrons, you know, come in, gather their stuff as soon as possible, um, whether that's a, a pre-order or coming to the market and actually, you know, picking up the stuff and leaving as soon as possible. So with that being said, we've had to cut the music off, uh, cut the face painting and everything, all the entertainment, we've had to cut that off completely. Um, and we're trying to get people to just come in, 
pick up their core essentials. Uh, we still have you know plenty of meat, grass-fed meat out there. We've got plenty of vegetables, cheese, yogurt, all of our core essentials um, that you guys can ask for. And um, you know, I mean, we are limiting a little bit to a certain extent. Um, I believe the eggs are limited to uh, three dozen, uh, no limit, obviously, on veggies. Um, and there is a poundage limit on meat, uh, just so there's enough to go around for everyone. But as far as the um, social distancing, uh, kind of best practices that we've put in place, um, like for example, Johnson's Backyard is a, a huge organic grower here in the Austin area. Uh, one of the things that we've put in place and worked with them on is rather than allowing the customers to go back and uh, handle their vegetables and sack them up on their own, uh, what they've done is most of the veggies, especially lettuces and whatnot, are prepackaged. And there's a table in the front that is, to a certain extent, a barrier from allowing people to go back and touch any of the vegetables. All the vegetables are unloaded uh, by their employees with gloves. And while they're transferring the item into a bag, it's all done with gloves. Uh, the person that's handling the actual money is um, not handling the vegetables at all. And what they're asking is that everybody come to the market instead of with cash, like the good old days, um, they would you know, present a card similar to at the grocery store and the card would be inserted by the customer and so on. Uh, so that's how we're handling all of our transactions, everything from Taco Deli to fresh meats and vegetables. Um, we're still here for you guys. That's um, fantastic. And um, I think one thing I, I should mention, the market is on Sunday um 10 to 10 to 10 two. 2 yep and um i'm going to post in the the in the comments or in this link that uh the website and you and i were talking about um pre-ordering can they do that with the vendors so that they know that they'll have produce or the eggs um at the lone star farmers market yeah so um the only thing that we can do at this point is a CSA box, which is community supported agriculture. Uh, so they could go ahead and pick up their CSA box, also sign up for a CSA box, and that can pro provide everything from fresh veggies to eggs. Cool. And that would be through Johnson's Backyard. Okay. And, and that's something they can do all through the website? They could do that through Johnson's Backyard's website. Okay. Uh, but a lot of our vendors are not as up to speed on some of the technology and setting up online ordering. Um, and they definitely got hit uh, below the belt, you know, with this coming up. So any support that the community can do to uh, come out and show uh, would be terrific. Absolutely. Well, we sure um, support you guys entirely. And, and anyone that has any questions, you know, feel free to in the comments and if it's not me or Richie, we'll try to answer those. Um, um, any other contact information, Richie, that w the folks might need to know or have to reach out to you guys? Yeah, so um, the only thing I would say is just um, stay up to date on our Facebook. Uh, we're trying to keep everyone up, you know, oppressed up, up there um, as far as new information coming out. Um, and then if there's any questions as well um, that they want to find out specifics on, uh, if certain vendors perhaps might be there that particular week, um, they could send an email over to info at LoneStarFarmersMarket.com. Okay. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, we're, we're here to, uh, to uh, you know, surpass this and you know, still provide to the community and any support would be greatly appreciated. Absolutely. Well, we really appreciate your time and updating us on what the market is doing right now. Um, and again, if any of you listening have questions, um, I think I got the emails info at LoneStarFarmersMarket.com yep. and I'll try to post that in the comments. And uh, one final question for you, Richie, with this uh, shelter in place and being at home, what are you and the family doing for fun? Whew. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I'm starting to, you know, get a little stir crazy myself, but um, 
yeah, we, we're definitely getting creative around here. Um, I, uh, you know, clean the dog and can't, can't believe how many times I've dusted and so on, but, um, it just seems to, uh, just the little things, you know, just to break up the day definitely, you know, have helped. Um, I have been doing a lot more cooking and, and stuff and really looking, you know, forward to preparing meals. Um, you know, I feel like I'm cooking for an army, but it's just a family. And, but yeah, I just looking forward to trying new things and breaking up the day. That's about it. Just keeping our own personal sanity. Yeah, I've, I have not uh, had such delicate um, meals at home. Like we've put so much like time and energy into just amazing meals because we have it, you know, and it's been fun. Yeah. Um, and just staying active. And one thing that I've done that I lo have lived in the same house for over seven years and not once have I even thought about cleaning my shed. <laughs> and uh, that thing is sparkling, man. Um, just keeping us busy. And I will say for me personally, um, I've exercised probably more than I have just over the weekend. It's really the weekends, you know, I'm out doing something else. And um, if you can't find me, it's because I'm in the garage doing some exercise. Yeah. But um, Richie, I really appreciate your time, man. Thanks for sharing. All right. And um, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday, man. All right. Sounds good. Thank you for this opportunity. Absolutely. You have a wonderful right. day. We'll talk to you soon. All right. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye.